What's going on, y'all? It's just business. So listen, I'm standing outside the car, you know, yesterday, and I look at the windshield sticker, say July 2023. I'm saying, I said, man, my sticker ain't expired, right? I ain't getting no notice in the mail, right? So I'm saying, okay, something got to be wrong with this. Right, I don't do the annuals. I do four months now since they do that in Chicago. Just stick with me on something. So I go in, I go online. So it expired July the 31st, but you got a grace period to August the 30th. So I'm saying, because I go to Easy Buy, I got it already set up into the account, but they hadn't sent me a notice. Red flag, right? So my mind turning before I even scroll down because all of your accounts with the city of Chicago is scrolled down on easy pay, you know, your plates, everything, well, not the plates, but everything that's dealing with the Chicago state IDs, you know, driver, like whatever. So when I scroll down, I looked at easy buy under my dog's registration, because you got to get registered every year in Chicago with the rabies vaccination. It said expired May of 2023. And I'm saying, not the second red flag. So I'm saying, no, man, you know, I got her vaccination. In May of 2023. I said, you know what? Forget it, man. Maybe I typed in the wrong thing. Maybe I, you know, whatever. Always give them the benefit of the doubt, right? But then as I looked at the vaccination number and matched with the vaccination number on my receipt, I know I didn't mark in the wrong mass vaccination number. So I'm assuming that the vaccination was hooked up, whoever did whatever. The point I'm trying to make is that somebody internally did both things. It's, it's, it's two, three, four, five, three different things that's going on. And it's just unusual. And so this is what I try to tell you people, you know, because I know somebody who I'm going into it with, this lady, right? And she got a, a daughter, works in the city of Chicago. So let me tell you guys, man, like I tell you all the time, you know, we look, there's no big old using little eyes. Or when you work for the city or you work for the state, when you have access to cru crucial information involving people's lives, man, and you decide to do sisterhood type stuff, and you go into the system internally and change things, there's a code before you get access. If anybody access internally to my code, your, inf your information, now it, it might not say what you edited or changed, but it said that you had access to it. And there's no reason for anybody to have access to my information. Somebody had to make changes to that. You understand what I'm saying? So what I'm saying is that when you deliberately do things like that, when you get caught up, you got to always consider whether you call on the phone and you go over to the next office. Hey, girl, this guy such and such, this, that, do this, do it. Also understand that when you do that, you're compromising your pension, your job, you, you compromise and going to jail, maybe a penalty or a fine, something. You understand? So you, and, and which is going to affect your, your children and everybody else. So when you're doing these different things, y'all got to be mindful because I'm a man who's going to tell. 